when all is said and done, the narcissist fears you will realize this. You've had enough of the narcissist. You're sick and tired of their arguments. You're unhappy with the situation and you wanted to stop. So now you're ready to stand up for yourself. You're ready to defend yourself against their attack. And this is something that the narcissist greatly fears. Because they invested so much time and energy into keeping you under their control. When a narcissist comes around someone who is positive in attitude and full of energy and new ideas, there is something they must do. They are attracted to people who display power and strength. They are attracted to people who have the ability to direct and influence people's behavior and the course of events. People who display positivity. People who are full of life and energy. This is what attracts them to you. They see it as something impressive and attractive. They want to be around that. But they want you to hand it over to them. They want you to give them your power. Your intense emotions of passion and affection. They want you to give them your strength. Because that gives them an advantage over you. It gives them great satisfaction and enjoyment to receive that from someone who is powerful and full of life and energy. It's a good source of supply for them. But they have to trick you to giving this to them. By preparing and training you to be used for bad effect or for a bad purpose. Because when they mistreat you, it takes away your power. You have been captured and imprisoned by the narcissist. You become confined to the space that they have created for you. You become limited and restricted to the bounds that they have defined. Whenever you come across a narcissist, they will always be oppositional to you. They will always be resistant. There will always be a lack of agreement or a difference of opinion. They will always be opposed to whatever you are trying to do or whatever you believe in. Everything that makes you who you are. They will become oppositional to everything you stand for. Everything you're about. Which causes you to lose control of yourself. It causes you to collapse in emotion and lose willpower. They become perversely inclined to disagree or do the opposite of what is expected or desired. They become oppositional to everything you stand for, everything you're confident in. Because then it makes you doubt yourself. It makes you feel insecure. And a person who feels insecure is going to be looking for some type of certainty. They're going to be looking for confidence in something. And that's when the narcissist comes along with all of their answers. They have to do this 
because it gives them the ability to control you. They want you to lose confidence in your own worth and abilities. And it's like they just know how to affect you. They know how to get to you. By targeting the things that you are confident in. Things that you do feel strongly about. Whatever you feel most confident about is where they have to strike first. Because that's going to be the greatest opposition to them having control over you. The narcissist cannot break you down when you feel confident in yourself. When you stand strong in the firm belief of who you are. It's difficult for them to control someone like that. They can't control someone who has control over themselves. Which is why they have to go around and try to cause your idea or account to seem false or unreliable. They have to try to harm your good reputation. They have to try to get you to doubt yourself. You might have a certain way of doing something. Or maybe you value a certain belief or principle. But they always have to be in opposition to you. Even if it's something like a sports team. They always have to like the opposite to you. They can never agree with you. They can never share the same opinion about something. But when it comes to things you don't really care about, they will compliment you on them in a way that seems friendly. But it always betrays a feeling of superiority, as though they are looking down on you. They will only support you in things that you're not really interested in. So that it creates a person who is contrary to what is usual, expected or logical. It creates a person who is out of order or reversed. Because then you lack confidence in everything that makes you who you are. It just makes you wonder why did they even target you in the first place? If they dislike everything about you, why did they even come around you? And that's how you know that they are trying to trick you. They are trying to pressurize you into adopting radically different beliefs by using systematic and often forcible means so that they can make you their next source of supply. They are trying to indoctrinate you. They are teaching you to accept a set of beliefs uncritically. They want to keep you in a state where you are still able to supply them with everything they need. While thinking you're not good enough Because it just keeps you wanting to do more. Instead of looking at them and realising they're not bringing anything to the table. Because even if you do try to confront them on what they're trying to do to you. They will deny it or minimise it. Or they will bring up something about you. Whatever it takes to divert your attention. Whatever it takes to take the heat off of them. So that you can't continue with the course of direction. Of telling them what you don't approve of. Because they don't like it when you display intelligence. They don't like it when you express your thoughts and ideas. It has a strong emotional effect on them. Because they're lacking the power to perform physically demanding tasks. They have little physical strength and energy. And the more positive, powerful and intelligent you are, it intimidates them. 
It makes them feel inferior to you. It makes them feel like they are beneath you. They just want to receive this amazing person without expressing their respect and gratitude towards you. Without appreciating everything that you are. Because if they do that, you're going to realize that they don't have anything to offer you. They're lacking the power to perform physically demanding tasks. They don't have any strength or positive energy of their own. You would realize that you're giving all of your power to them. Which is why they have to reduce the emphasis on your importance, value and strength. They have to act as though it isn't very important. Because they're jealous. They can't stand to see your achievements, possessions or perceived advantages. They hate it. They love power. They love the idea of having the ability to influence and direct people's behavior and the course of events. But they don't like the idea of you using your power on them. Because you would just completely destroy them. And that is why they have to cause you to lose control of your emotions. They have to cause you to lose your ability to function efficiently. They have to cause you to lose willpower. They have to tame you. They have to domesticate you. They have to make you less powerful and easier to control. They have to keep you in a state or condition where you are unable to carry out, accomplish or fulfill an action, task or function to prevent you from existing in your power to prevent you from existing in everything that you have worked so hard to achieve. They don't want you to do that. Because then you would be in the position of authority. And they want to have authority over you. Because that is how they're going to keep you as their source of supply. The narcissist doesn't want you to be able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. They don't want you to bounce back. They don't want you to exist in your power. They don't want you to use reasonable thinking or good judgment. They hate it when you do that. They hate it when you have the power or right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience. They hate any kind of authority. They hate anything that has power over them. They see it as a threat. They see it as something that might cause danger or harm. Which is why when you've had enough of the narcissist, when you finally stand up for yourself, they will fall back in fear. They will disappear. You will probably never see them again. Because they realize that you have realized your own power. Which is what they tried to take from you. They try to keep you as their puppet. They try to keep you asleep. But when you wake up and you see them for what they really are, when you realize that they don't even have any power and that they just use tactics and tricks to make you think you're less than who you really are, they fall back, they disappear. Because all they've got is brainwashing techniques to make you feel like you're not as good as you really are. To keep you under their spell.
when you know all of the work you put in to become the person you are today. You know everything you did to become this positive, energetic person. And they know it. But they cannot give you the praise and compliments that you deserve. Because if they did that, it would give you the authority. It would give you the power. And that wouldn't be good for them. Because they don't have anything to bring to the table. They're lacking the power to perform physically demanded tasks. And there would be no reason for you to keep them around. When you know that they don't have anything to offer you. They're not about anything for real. And that is why they have to break you down to their level. To make you think you're equal to them. But you're not equal to them. You are so much greater than them. And they are fully aware of this. Which is why they try to break you down. Which is why they're always in opposition to you. But this is the game they play. It's something they engage in for amusement and fun. And what makes it so fun is the fact that you don't even realize just how great you are. You don't even realize your own worth. You don't realize how you deserve to be treated. Which lets them get away with everything they're doing to you. And that is what makes it so fun for them. To take this powerful person who is so full of life and energy, which is everything they want to be, and bring that person down to their level. It makes them feel like you're equal. You're on the same level. And in their minds, that's leveling the playing field. That's making the situation fair for everyone involved. In their minds, that's justice. Because you had all of this power and perceived advantages which they wanted to make full use of and derive benefit from but they didn't want you to use that on them which is why they had to make you doubt yourself they had to make you think you're not as great as you actually are so that they were able to control you and use everything that you had to offer for themselves while making you think you don't have anything to offer and while they're not giving anything to you they don't have anything to bring to the table which is why they come around you in their minds they are the table but they don't want you to know the worth of what you're giving to them because they want to have power over you and they do this with the identification of long-term aims and interests and the means of achieving them. Everything they do is designed and planned to serve a particular purpose. It's done according to systematic and established procedure. They are deliberately resisted from praising or complimenting you. They are trying to reduce emphasis on your importance, value and strength. They are trying to make you doubt yourself. And they will even compare you to other people. Instead of just giving you the praise that you deserve. They can only give you their negativity. They can only give you criticism or pessimism about something. They can only focus on the absence rather than the presence of your distinguishing features because they feel like they are lacking the quality or quantity required. They feel like they are insufficient for a purpose. They feel like they are unable to deal with a situation or with life. They feel inferior to you 
which compels them to want to bring you down to their level. They can't just let you be who you are. They can't just let you exist at the level where you're at. They can't let things be natural, organic. They've got to have an effect in it. Because they feel overpowered by it. They feel like it reduces their power or strength. So they cannot allow you to be the person that you are. When if someone has worked hard to be the person you see today, you should show approval or praise. You should allow them to feel pride and satisfaction for what they have achieved. Instead of trying to take it away from them, you don't need to tear someone down for feeling inferior to them. But narcissists will tear you down. They have to bring you down to their level so that they can keep you as their source of supply. Don't depend on the narcissist's validation. They're never going to genuinely acknowledge your worth. Because whenever they're around you, they don't see any value in themselves. They feel inferior to you. You need to validate yourself and realize that you are great. You are special. You deserve to be who you are today. You deserve to have what you want. Because you endured the trials and tribulations. You worked hard to become the person that you are today. So you deserve the benefits and advantages that come along with that. You need to realize your worth. You need to remember everything you did to become who you are. Don't let the narcissist bring you down. They will always try to divert your attention from everything that you have achieved or obtained. They will always try to make you depart from your established course. Because they're envious and jealous. They feel resentment of you and your achievements, possessions and perceived advantages. So they will only ever be oppositional to you. And people like that are not going to be any good to you. They're only going to cause problems for you. It's like having two people rowing a boat in opposite directions. It's not going to go anywhere. Unless they both row in the same direction. Unless they're on the same path and purpose. And the narcissist will never be on the same course as you. Because they don't want to see your success. They have to make you doubt yourself. They have to make you lose confidence in yourself. So that they are more able to control you. And keep you as their source of supply. And that is why it is not good for you to be around these types of people. They're never going to support you in anything. They're only going to harm your good reputation. They have a hidden agenda. They can make it seem like they have your best interest in mind. They can make it seem like they're doing the right thing. And that's why they want to have the control over you. But everything they're doing is in their interest. They're only doing what serves them. To keep you asleep. And to keep you doubting yourself. So that they can keep you down at their level. But when you wake up and you realize what they're trying to do to you, 
you can finally rise up and be free. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions, and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.